There was no awkward shove like the one that made global headlines at last year's NATO summit, but President Donald Trump's body language during NATO events Wednesday suggests his relationship with key U.S. allies aren't exactly buddy-buddy. Trump began his day with a tense breakfast meeting during which he lectured NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg about defense spending and complained about a German pipeline deal with Russia. We're going to have to do something because we're not going to put up with it. We can't put up with it. Their subsequent encounters at NATO headquarters were less strained but still formal as they twice shook hands and chatted in front of the press. World leader summits are largely about optics and presenting a unified front to the rest of the world. But showing unity seemed an afterthought for the America First president, and it showed, Trump often separating himself from his counterparts, lingering behind most of the other leaders during the traditional family photo op in the courtyard. We're having a great meeting. During a much-anticipated meeting with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Trump declared U.S. relations with Germany tremendous. But the two barely looked at each other as they spoke to the press during the few moments journalists were allowed in the room. And so it's great to be with you. That visit was in stark contrast to Trump's subsequent meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron. It sounded beautifully, I have no idea. <laughs> Trump and Macron bantering easily and joking, suggesting their chummy relationship lives on, despite a series of significant disagreements. Later, the French and American first ladies joined their husbands for what appeared to be a cheery walk to dinner a rare bright spot in an otherwise strained and frosty summit. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.